Hi guys, it's Beth. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to one of our authorized dealers to pick up a surprise. I'm taking you guys along with me, so stay tuned. So I'm wearing my AP Remaster 1 today. There you go. And we actually have a special guest today. His name is Spock, and he is coming along with us. And we're on our way to the AD now. Spocky, say hi. Spock. and we're on our way to our AD right now. So I wasn't allowed to film in the store because of store policy, so I'm actually gonna skip to the part where I pick up the watch and try it on. So she's the new Rolex 2020 Kermit, or as some people call it, the Sermit, or as some people call it, the Starbucks. There's no official name for it, but for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna call it the Kermit. Either way, I was super excited to get this watch. There are a couple of changes with the new 2020 Rolex Submariner versus the previous model, but I'm going to hit the most important features. I'm going to mention the key features for women who want to wear this watch and why I think this new line of releases for Rolex is incredibly inclusive to women. First up, I think Rolex has done an incredible job in this new line in terms of catering to women. They seem to be making a big push towards females, with not only the fun, bright, colorful dials of the new Oyster Perpetuals, but also with the new slimmer fitting Submariners, which I'll touch upon in a second. This is a great opportunity for women who are looking into exploring the watch world and satisfies both females who want a fun, feminine look like the Oyster Perpetual and those who want a sportier tool watch like the Submariner. In terms of physical changes, the biggest update on the new Kermit is its new, bigger case at 41 millimeters, up from 40. Now, this was a little daunting to me at first because 41 millimeters on a female wrist, especially on my tiny wrist, seemed way too big. But surprisingly enough, the new slim fit actually hugged and wrapped around my wrist just right without looking overwhelming. Which brings me to my next update, the updated maxi style case. The new Kermit still in effect has a maxi case, but Rolex has subtly refined the case profile so that the area around the crown feels a little less chunky, resulting in the watch feeling much more fitted and slimming on the wrist. The new Kermit is also stated to have a remodeled bracelet with the lugs having a narrower structure, alongside having Rolex's patented Oyster Lock folding safety clasp to prevent accidental opening and glide lock extension, which lets you fine adjust the bracelet by two millimeter increments up to 20 millimeters. I've tried on my husband's Black Submariner before and remember it not being it for me because it just felt too big and bulky and a touch too masculine. It just didn't feel nor look right on my wrist. The new Submariner feels smaller, slimmer, and much more fitted than its predecessor. It wraps perfect around even a small female wrist like mine and sits nicely on the wrist without feeling bulky. A few other changes. The new Kermit has a ceramic bezel versus a stainless steel bezel, hence the name Sermit. The new Kermit also features a new caliber 3235 movement versus caliber 3135. It offers a 70 hour power reserve compared to 48 hours in previous models. There's even now also a tiny Rolex crown located between Swiss and made below the six o'clock on the dial. All in all, all these changes are a huge plus for women who are eyeing the new 2020 collection and looking to invest in Rolex. I think Rolex has done a great job with keeping the watch conversation inclusive to women while continuing to deliver its brand to their loyal customers in this new release. The new Kermit does a great job at giving me both a fun pop of color with the green bezel, but also the sporty, solid feeling of a Submariner. Follow me on my Instagram if you want to see more watches from a woman's perspective. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a cute little thumbs up. And if you want to see more fun watch stuff, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you don't miss when I drop my next video. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.